guys? I'm Chelsea Montez. I'm here at Luke's Locker in Plano with Monica Burt. She's going to be showing me today how to choose the right shoe for your foot and also to prevent injuries and have a successful run. So I'll let you take over and just kind of explain how that works. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, when a person comes in and wants to get fitted for the shoes for the first time, we really want to assess uh, what are they wearing, what are their goals, and then watch them um, walk and jog, and then make sure that we make the proper recommendations so that they can be successful at whatever event that they're training for. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started and see what kind of shoe I would be needing. Perfect. All right. So do let's I need go to ahead and let's, let's okay. have you take your shoes off. I shouldn't have double knotted it. <laughs> All right. And the first thing I'm going to have you do is actually just do uh, just a normal walk down our runway here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Go for it. Are you flat footed? Are you neutral? Are you supinate? Okay, so because you're training for a half, now what I want to do is just have you go halfway down and just do a light jog for me. Perfect, so what I'm looking at is that you are neutral. Um, and you're a little wider in the forefront, you're a little bit more narrow in the heel. And the next thing we do is really do a measurement, because a lot of adults don't get measured, they just assume they're a certain size. Um, not all shoes fit the same way, especially when you're looking at a, a professional work shoe to, uh, to your running shoe. So let's get a measurement down for you. And we'll start with your right foot. Make sure your heel's all the way back. And then lean forward, like so that's a solid. That's the other foot. And so see this foot's just a little bit bigger, longer, and which is normal, so and it's a five and a half. So we'll actually we'll go with the six and a half. In okay. Your shoe. Okay. And um, why six and a half? Um normally I, I guess I would get six. Yes. And so so what I want to see when you're putting on your shoes is that I really want to see a thumbnail between your longest toe and the end of that shoe. Uh, you want enough room that when you're running and you're kind of you're coming down, your foot has a little bit of room to spread. You never want to be feeling the end of the shoe. You can get an ingrown toe now. You can lose a toe now. Um, you could even have like a little numbness feeling. Yeah. You're wondering why. I don't want to lose happening. a toe now. No, let's keep it, <laughs> let's keep a pretty pedicure. here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have a seat. Okay, cool. Here. Sure. And uh, one of the things that we'll do is, I just want to also make sure you're going to invest in a good shoe. I want to make sure that between your foot and that shoe is a proper sock. Oh. So we recommend no cotton socks. We really want a sock that's going to be moisture wicking, um, uh, antimicrobial, which helps with odor, mm -hmm. <laughs> and all that good stuff. So for husband, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I don't wear them. So what I picked out for you, just based off of us talking earlier, is a feature sock. It's a no slip and it's um, seamless toe, so it also prevents uh, blisters. Oh, cool. So is that enough cushion for you? Can I try it on? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. I like the way they feel. They feel pretty thick. And this is a Ooh. lightweight, ultra light. So uh -huh. there's ultra light and then there's even one that has more cushioning to it. So do you recommend always training in these and then also the race as well? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. On race day, you never want to try anything new. Okay. Let's figure it out all through your training as you're building your mileage. You want to get the right shoe, um, the right socks, so that on race day, you know all that's already working for you. Okay. So if I were to get a new shoe, how far in advance would I have to get it before the race so that I can, you know, mm -hmm. break them I in, I guess? I would just say... Um, don't wear anything new on race day. So you would want a shoe that you've already been running in for at least a week or two, mm -hmm. if not more, is okay. the ideal situation. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So um, my type of foot is a neutral, It's correct? neutral. Okay, correct. cool. Mm -hmm. And what shoes are good for neutral? Every brand is going to carry a neutral oh, shoe. Cool. They'll carry a neutral shoe from a minimalist lightweight shoe all the way to a high cushion shoe. 
so and everything in between. Okay. So it's really about finding the brand that you like. So I'll pull out three different styles of mm -hmm. shoes, and then we'll just uh, put you in a in a mid weight since we're looking at a half marathon. Cool. Okay. Perfect. I brought out three different styles. They're all neutral shoes. They're all great shoes. But now it's just a matter of which one feels best on your foot. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. Answer. These are the Brooks. This is the so Brooks. Cute. The Brooks Glycerin. Love anything with peach on them. So every shoe is very similar as far as it being a neutral shoe, uh -huh. but it really comes down to a brand yeah. of what fits your foot the best. Um, it was my first choice for you. Yay! Yay! Cool. I, did, I think a lot of times um, people run into the idea of they'll feel it or it'll bother them and they think that they just need a break in period. Mm -hmm. But really, if you're already feeling it, you're going to continue to feel yeah. it. So, Go with the shoe that yeah it feels like, very comfortable. Again, it just feels like an extension of the foot or like you're not wearing a shoe. That's the idea of, of finding the right shoe. So we switched up your sizing and we pushed you in a new brand. Okay, cool, nice. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. And that shoe will last you several hundred. Which miles. ones are these ones? It's the Brooks Blistering. Okay, cool. I've used the Brooks Cadence before. Okay. So this is new and I like that. Good. Let's just put it on both feet one more time mm -hmm. and have you go for a stroll and make sure that that's mm -hmm. my cushion. And when's yep. the race? It's December 14th. Yeah. This shoe should. If, if you get this shoe and you still have that shoe mm -hmm. and you transition your shoes like you alternate yeah. they're going to last you twice as long. Okay, cool. So this shoe would last you through your, your path. Yeah. yeah. I've had these since June. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, and you thought you got plenty of wear on them. I mean, that you could still mm -hmm. continue to wear them. What we look for is uh, a wear pattern on them, or like, do you still have treading? Oh, if you still okay. have treading, you're you're in good shape, and it's not. It's still pretty firm, mm -hmm. so you still have plenty of cushioning in the shoe. Okay, cool. So again, just continue to use the That's shoe, the and then just for. transition. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. So let's try it out one more time. <laughs> yeah, I like these. Pretty cool. And 
And that is how we do it. <laughs> awesome.